In the first question, a transformer in figure 8.1 used to convert 220 volts to only six volts. So input is a high voltage and the output is low. So what kind of transformer is this? It means this is a step down transformer. And the primary coil, the number of the turns of a primary coil that is that are 480 turns. So number of turns of primary are known as NP. The voltage of the primary, which is an input voltage, we can say that is 240 volts. The output voltage, the voltage output, that is the voltage of a secondary, that's equal to six volts. Number of the turns of secondary, we don't know. So in the question, use the information above, calculate the number of turns of a secondary. So how to work out the number of the turns of secondary? So you have to use a formula that Vs over Vp equals Ns over Np. This is always a formula which we use for a transformer that the voltage of a secondary divided by voltage of a primary is equals to number of the turns of secondary divided by number of turns of primary. So voltage of a secondary in the question, the voltage of a secondary that is six divided by Voltage of the primary, that is 240, 240. Number of turns of secondary, we don't know. And number of turns of the primary, the question, that is 480. So our subject is number of turns of secondary, like this is what we want. So 480 is divided, other side, it will be multiplied. So the final answer, it is six multiplied by 480 divided by 240, that is equals to number of turns of secondary. So when I simplify this, you can use the calculator or simplify here directly. 240 and 480, that, so that is twice. And six multiplied by two, that is equals to 12. So number of turns of a secondary will be equal to 12 volts. Then the second part, describe how transformer works. You have to learn the working of a transformer the points, the first point, always remember because the transformer works with AC. So you will mention AC input in the primary coil. Produce variable or changing magnetic field. That is the first point that whenever there is an AC input in the primary, that AC input will produce a variable or changing magnetic field. The second part, the iron core is magnetized due to magnetic field of The primary coil. The first one, there's a current, alternating current in the primary that produces a magnetic field. The second point that magnetize the iron core. The third, the change in the magnetic field of iron core induce EMF in the second coil. So these are the three points we should uh, include whenever we are answering the working of a transformer. The first point, AC input produce variable magnetic field. The second point, the iron core is magnetized due to the magnetic field. And the third point, the change in a magnetic field of an iron core induces EMF in the secondary. In addition, you can mention here the output voltage can be step up or step down by using a suitable turn ratio. Then state one way in which energy is lost from a transformer. So how energy is lost from the transformer? It is mainly lost in the form of heat. 
and from which part it is lost. So you can mention core or you can mention coil. These are the coils. Coils are mainly made up of copper and core is made up of iron. So both ways, because heat is produced by this copper coil as well, and it is also because of the heat, the core may not be magnetized because the heat demagnetizes the material. So maybe if the core is not magnetized, will not receive the same amount what we want. Another question, figure 10.2 shows a transformer. Again, you can see 240 volts are converted into 12. So where the supply is there, that is a primary, other side is a secondary. So this is, it means it is a step down transformer. The primary is having 8,000 turns. So number of turns of primary, that is equals to 8,000. 8, we want the number of turns of secondary, we don't know. So we want the number of turns of secondary, the same formula which we used in the previous question, that Vs over Vp equals Ns over Np. Means the turn ratio and the voltage ratio of a transformer is always constant. So voltage of a secondary, this is the voltage of a secondary this one is the voltage of the primary, number of turns of secondary we don't know and number of turns of primary we are finding. So voltage of secondary is 12, voltage of the primary that is 240, number of the turns of secondary that is unknown, number of turns of primary according to the question the primary is having 8000 turns. So this 8000 is divided other side it will be multiplied. So it will be 12 multiplied by 8000 divided by 240. So 12 into 8,000 divided by 240, that is equals to 400. So this will have 400 turns. Another question, a primary coil P, which is a primary here, is having 200 turns and coil Q is having 340 turns. And there are 200 turns in P and Q is 340. A four volt AC supply is connected here. So we connect a supply, the point where we connect a supply, that is always a primary. So we connect a four volt AC here. So input, the primary is having 200 turns and the secondary is having 340 turns. So this gives an idea that this will be a step up transformer. So without calculation, I can predict that the output voltage should be higher. Then explain why there is a voltage between the terminal of Q, like why it is working or why there is a voltage produced. So the same idea that AC input produce variable magnetic field which magnetize the iron core or soft iron core and the change in the magnetic field induce EMF in coil Q. So again, three marks, one mark mentioning AC produce variable magnetic field or mentioning a magnetic field. As a reference, as you can see here, our marking seem one mark is for mentioning any reference to the magnetic field. The second mark for mentioning that there is a changing magnetic field in a core, as I mentioned here. And the third mark, and due to change in magnetic field, there's an induction or there is a voltage produced in Q. Then why the core of the transformer is made up of soft iron? Why soft iron? Why not steel? So that it can easily magnetize or demagnetize or change the 
magnetic field. So it can easily magnetized or demagnetized or change the magnetic field. If we use a steel, it will be difficult to magnetize, but once it is magnetized, we cannot demagnetize it easily. So easy to magnetize or demagnetize. Then calculate the voltage between the terminal uh, of Q. So it means we need the output voltage. We know the primary voltage is uh, four and secondary voltage we don't know. The number of the turns of secondary are given 340 and number of turns of primary are 200. So again, we'll use the same formula as we did that Vs over Vp equals Ns over NP. So Vs is a subject we were finding Vp voltage of the primary that is the input voltage for number of turns of secondary that is 340 number of turns of primary 200. This four is divided other side it will be multiplied. So Vs equals 340 times four divided by 200. So this will be equal to 340 multiplied by 4 and that is divided by 200. So the output voltage is equals to 6.8 volts. So this will give us the voltage of about 6.8. And this is a step up transformer. How we identify it's a step up. The input was having less turn and output was having more turns. That's why it is a step up transformer. And whenever there's a step up transformer, the output voltage should be higher than the input voltage. This is a continuation of the question. The heater is connected to coil Q. The current in the heater is 3.5 ampere. The transformer is 100% efficient. We need current in coil P. So they mentioned here that we already work out the voltage. This voltage was 6.8. This voltage is given four volts. The current here is 3.5 because they mentioned that uh, at coil Q, we connect a heater. A heater is connected to coil Q, which is having 3.5 ampere. And we need the current in this primary. And the second part, important part, what they mentioned, they mentioned it is 100% efficient. So when a device is 100% efficient, it means the power input, if some device is 100% efficient, so the total input power is equals to the output power. Power input is equals to power output. And in electrical quantities, the power is given by a formula voltage and current. The product of voltage and current is known as power. So I can say it is 100% efficient. So I can say the power input is equals to power output. And this dimension already in the question that it is 100% efficient. And in electrical quantity, the power is given by a formula voltage and current. So what is the input power? The input power is the input voltage multiplied by input current. And what is the output power? Output power is the output voltage or current in the secondary and the voltage in the secondary, the product. Now we just substitute the values, the voltage of the primary, the input that is four. So we substitute four. The current in the primary is unknown, we don't know. The voltage of a secondary, we already calculated in the previous part, that was 6.8. And the current in the secondary or current in coil Q that was given in the question equals to 3.5. So we need the current in the primary. So it will be 6.8 multiplied by 3.5. And that is divided by, so 6.8 
times 3.5 and that is divided by 4 which is equals to 5.95 ampere. So because it is a step up transformer, so what is the characteristic of a step up transformer? Step up transformer, they will have more voltage and they will have less current. So, and the primary will have less voltage and it will have more current. So 5.95 ampere is basically a current which is passing through a primary coil. A transformer is used to step up the voltage before electrical energy is transmitted over a long distance, state and explain one economical effect of transmitting the energy at high voltage. So what is the, what is the advantage of using the trans, like transferring the power at a high voltage? So when we use a high voltage, it will have less current, less heat will be produced. So we can use a thinner cables, which are cheaper. Another question, a transformer is needed to step down 240 to 12. Draw a label diagram of a transformer. So now we want to draw a step down transformer. So a step down transformer will have more primary turns. So when we draw the primary coil, we should draw, it should be visible that primary is having more turns and the secondary is having few turns because According to question, it is a step down transformer. Here we will have an AC supply. It should be labeled like you will mention iron core. So this is an iron core. This one is a supply. An AC supply, this one is a primary coil. which is made up of copper. Secondary coil is also made up of copper. Then why the transformer only work with AC? What is the reason? Because an alternating current or AC current produce change in the magnetic field. So AC produce variable magnetic field. That's why transformer only work with AC. How input voltage is changed into output voltage. So again, the working that AC input or the produces uh, AC input produce variable magnetic field, which magnetize the iron core. and the change in the magnetic field of iron core. Will induce electromotive force or EMF in the secondary coil. The output current is 1.5. So the current here is 1.5. And there's an output voltage. We already know it is 12. The input voltage was 240. What is the output power? Power is a product of voltage and current P equals VI. So it will be voltage of secondary and current of secondary. So voltage of secondary is 12 multiplied by current of the secondary. That is 1.5. So 12 into 1.5, it's equals to 18 watts. And the energy output in 30 seconds. So energy, it's a product of pow power is energy. Rate of energy transfer or energy is a product of power and time. So when power, which is 18, and the time is equals to 30. So it will be 18 multiplied by 30, which is equals to 540 joules. So the energy output will be equals to 540 joules. 